what's up guys happy thanksgiving welcome back to my channel so what i'm about to do is a quick get ready with me soft i'm saying soft like i'm not extra as hell but soft beat face for thanksgiving for you to go sit in the living room and look cute because that's how us black people do it try to keep it to a minimum all right, my hair looks a mess. I just did a co-wash on it, and I got dressed. I did a co-wash. Yeah, so now it's looking like this before I put any product in it. What we're going to do is we're going to prime the face. Sorry for my vanity. It's like a little bit of a hot mess right now. Working on my backgrounds. <laughs> it's better than being in the bathroom, but we're going to prime the face with a little bit of Becca. Matt poreless primer gotta get that nose area oh this stuff is like glue <laughs> l'oreal true match foundation in the color cappuccino i'm gonna use my damp clean beauty blender it's just stained it's clean always clean can't have those breakouts so what's up guys i don't know if i thanked y'all in the last video but thank you guys for 600 subscribers we are climbing to a thousand and I'm really trying to do my best with being consistent. This time for me is so busy because it's holiday season. And as some of you may know, I'm a hairstylist. When it's holiday season, it's like I don't have a break from work. I don't really take days off. Normally I'm working on Thanksgiving, but they gave me the day off today. That's a blessing because I haven't had a day off from Thanksgiving in like four years. Like, thank you for 600 subscribers. I'm really appreciative of that. I remember when I like, I was like, let me take YouTube a little bit serious. And I said, where am I now? And I was like a hundred, I was like at a hundred and like 32 subscribers. I started uploading videos and then all of a sudden I hit 200. And then the next thing I knew I hit 400 and it was just like, whoa, okay. Then I was stuck at 500 for like a couple months. I mean, 400 at a couple months. And then I finally, finally, finally hit 500. And then like in like two, three weeks I hit 600. So I'm so grateful for that. I'm not close to 700, but I'm close to 700, if you know what I'm saying. Guys, I really blend my neck out nowadays because I went to my best friend's party and somebody caught a snap of me. If I can insert the snap, I will. And you could see like the line between here and here of the different colors. And that shit was not... That was not cute at all. And I was like, ooh, this is a cute snap, but I just don't, like, I don't want that to ever happen again. Ooh, she blended. Kind of want to add a couple pumps to my Fenty Beauty. Love Fenty products. My normal color for Fenty is... 420 but i used 430 because i was going away on vacation now that i'm back from cabo i know you guys watched my cabo vlog didn't you now i'm gonna go in and do my brows using this brow pencil i can hardly tell what the hell brow pencil this is but it's like a simple drugstore pencil but i like it because you don't have to sharpen it like you can just use it it's in the color dark brown it's called auto eye that's what it's called. I like my brows to be a little bit darker, but I feel like I'm a little bit extra today. And I'm not trying, like, I'm a little bit extra every day, to be honest, but I'm not trying to be so extra today. 
So what are the Thanksgiving plans, guys? Like, are you guys going to your family's house? Are you staying home? Do you celebrate Thanksgiving? What's going on? I normally go to Brooklyn to go to my sister's house, but my sister the last couple of years has been ordering in and it's nothing compared to the food that she cooks. So I was like, last year I think she went away and then this year she said she was ordering and I was like, eh, I'm not here for the ordering food. If I'm gonna eat all those carbs and all those calories, I want the real thing. So I didn't want that order food, like that ordered from wherever, catered food. I'd rather just go someplace where they're gonna have a home cooked meal. But then <laughs> I went with my sister to the movies and my nieces to see Frozen and she was like, oh, her husband's cooking. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> but I already had made plans. So my aunt, my dad's sister had invited me and Kendra, my girlfriend, my beautiful girlfriend, out to her house and I haven't seen my aunt in a while and she's like a homebody and she doesn't really come out much so I was like you know what let me go over there and spend some time with her probably run into my father and you know spend some time with them and then I'm gonna go to a, like a Friendsgiving my brother told me that Friendsgiving is the day before Thanksgiving or the week before Thanksgiving, but people do Friendsgiving after, before, whatever. So I'm gonna go to my friend's house in the Bronx. So I'm in, I'm in, um, I'm home now, and I'm gonna go to Yonkers, to my aunt's house, and then I'm gonna go to the Bronx. These brows are pretty subtle, guys. Give me credit. I really wanted to go dark, but I'm not gonna go dark. So I'm just blend those out with a little flat brush. Just some simple brows, you know. This vanity is like a hot mess if I can be so honest with myself. So now what I like to do is I like to take this nice little flat brush. What do you call these brushes? I do not know brushes. And I like to go into the cap of my makeup. And I like to use that as my concealer. Like I like to use it as like the thing to like line my brow. I like to use my foundation as my concealer. So I'm gonna go in, just go under the brows a little bit and just line underneath the brows just to clean it up, just, <laughs> just a tad, nothing crazy. My go-to thing used to be like to get the color Fawn in the LA Girl uh, Pro Concealer and then go underneath. But since I don't like them, I like them to stand out, but I don't like them to stand out OD. Like I'd rather it just be like a little cleaned up. Like I like to put a little bit on the back of my hand and just clean it up just a tiny bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit. It just does a little something. This is like really subtle. Almost feel like I'm not putting anything on here. Just to clean it up. Bless you guys that don't use your freaking iPhones for like vlogging and you have those bomb ass cameras. I'm not there yet. But I'm coming for you. So now like I really... I said soft glam, but I want color. Like, I feel like I want some color to go into this look. So let me go on my drawer. My drawer palettes. Shout out to Babe, because she's been adding to my collection of palettes. She just, just be blessing the kid. Just be blessing me. I have the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Oh. When I saw this, I had to get it. Like, I had to get it because the colors in here are so bright. They're so bright. And they're so vibrant. Like, and I love a vibrant palette. Like, look at this. I mean, it's a hot mess. I've had it for a little bit. But look at those colors. 
those colors are everything i'm feeling like blue today i'm feeling a little blue not blue blue but i just want to go blue in my eyeshadow i was saying a bunch of stuff and i realized that i wasn't recording because i was trying to fix but i realized that i was not recording because i was trying to fix the lighting in here anyways i'm gonna go in <laughs> with my naked honey palette if you did not see my review on this palette go check it out so just go binge watch and look through my videos i'm trying to do more beauty videos because i am in the beauty field and that's what i want to do but what i was saying was <laughs> they usually go in with the transition colors first and then they go in with the main color that they want to use now i'm gonna go in with my urban decay eyeshadow primer okay this stuff is the bomb this definitely brings out the color and everything so i like to just take it put on my finger and then just dab it on there and a little bit goes a long way just saying i see people set it afterwards and I I don't get it why they do that because of the fact that I like it to stand out and I want it to stick. So I, I think of it, I don't know, like, I don't know. Who, what do I know? I'm not a makeup artist, but I'm, I'm a faker. But that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I could do some hair, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. I told you. All right, now that I've gotten those eyes nice and those eyelids are nice and primed. Go in with my transition color because that's what all you guys do. You go in with the transition and then you go on top with the main color. You feel me? So I'm going to do that. So the color, this palette, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Love it. Anyway, I don't care about a transition color i'm gonna do what i feel in my heart okay so i'm gonna go in with the color golden no i'm gonna go in with the color keeper Now I'm gonna go in with the color Amber because I can't stay away from it because I think it's my favorite color in this palette. And I'm gonna go right under that color. Going in with the color Amber. Guys, why don't y'all drop in the comments like all the things that you guys are actually thankful for. Like, I think that we take a lot of things for granted, and it's sad, especially Americans. I, I realize, like, sometimes I could be very wasteful with things, and it's like, because <laughs> we're American, and it just comes naturally, and it's really, it's really just sad. Now I'm going to go in with the color Gonzo from the Electric Palette. This is like... My favorite blue color. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Stop. <laughs> oh, my God. This color is a problem. A legitimate problem. I'm not a person who could do, like, one eye. Like, I have to go back and forth all the time. I said this was going to be a subtle look, and then I put a pop of color up in here. Like, I need to go high up. I hate having hooded lashes. Hooded lashes. Yup, that's exactly what I have. I hate having <laughs> hooded, like, um, I, I, what do you call these things? Oh, my God. Hooded eyelids. <laughs> there we go. Oh, my God. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of fringe in there, which is this like, it's like this kind of like greenish bluish color. I'm gonna add some of that in there. Um, I think I'm gonna add some pink in the inner corner. Yesterday I did this bomb look and I'm like, damn, like, why can't like my looks like be like that every day? And why can't it come out like that when I record? Because this right here is looking a little bit on the duller side, but whatever. So now I'm going to take this color Savage, which is this pink color. And I'm going to place that in the inner corner eye. I forgot who got this for me for my birthday a couple years ago, but I don't use these very often. These are MAC pigments. These are awesome. They're just a little bit messy. But they had this little top on it, so I suggest you keep the top if you do get some of these, if they even still have them, because this was a while ago. And then you have like the pigment in there. So I think I'm gonna add that over top of that blue color. I actually feel like I want to go in with this Sephora liquid glitter. Ike got me these, and these are awesome. I still have this one left. I think all the other ones like start to dry out or something, but this one was still doing its thing. So I think I'm gonna put that over top of, like over top of the blue, and that will make it pop out a little bit more because it's not doing what I want it to do. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty, right guys? I like it. Mikey, she likes it. Here's some nonsense in the back. It's these fools from upstairs that are super loud. I don't know what black family, sorry to say, like where the mothers don't tell their kids to be quiet in the house, but they are very disrespectful when it comes to like, like, cause I live on the first floor, so I hear everything so crazy i'm like if oh almost poked myself in the eye there if i was that loud like my uncle would have like cursed us out like seriously like we could not get away with being that damn loud <laughs> that was out of the question seriously i think i'm kind of done with the eyes actually i'm gonna go on with the, my chocolate gold palette this is another one of my favorites oh that's messy it's so pretty it smells like chocolate and like some of it kind of got on like like when you use it it kind of just like <laughs> falls you can taste the chocolate like it, it supposedly it's made out of cocoa so that's what you taste when like as i'm doing this right now a little bit is like getting in the air and i'm tasting it as i'm going and it really it has a cocoa taste to it too i'm just doing a little bit more enhancing over here they have a pink in here too yeah it's called new money and i'm gonna put a little bit of this pink in the corner to enhance that other pink so I feel like stuff is mm, this smells amazing there we go that looks a little bit more brighter I like that someone asked in my um one of my other videos what wine are you drinking <laughs> it's like it wasn't wine it was a dirty martini right now I'm drinking champagne So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cap on my foundation before I decide to bump it and spill it all over the floor because I've done that several times. Do a little bit of highlight, highlight using my Becca Topaz highlighter. This was my first highlighter that I ever got and I've been obsessed ever since. This is probably the wrong brush to use. Don't come for me. I am an amateur. I really, for Christmas, 
I was thinking about treating myself to a whole makeup brush set or asking Papa to get me one. <laughs> if y'all don't know who Papa is, that's Kendra. Because that's my nickname for her. Little bit on the cheeks. I cannot wait to like invest into a like legitimate camera. I film on my phone, but it'll just have to do. You know what I mean? It'll have to do for now. And I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty. I actually dropped this and it cracked and it's a hot mess. So yeah, but I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty uh, trophy wife. Definitely made for the Brown Sisters because ooh, gold's just look amazing on my skin. It makes me so excited. Like, this lighting isn't doing me justice because I'm, like, in my room. And, but this right here, like, I cannot even. Oh, it's so pretty. You can't see it. Uh, I don't think you can really see it because... Does something really wonderful for brown skin sisters and then <laughs> I'm gonna go once more with another highlighter which is the Laura Mercy air um I don't know which one this is but it's like a rose gold color holy shit it's broken too and all the powder is like this is a hot mess right here but I refuse <laughs> I refuse. This will get used. Mix all three together and it just gives you a banger. A serious banger. Y'all see the glow? Wait, let's see. Y'all see the somewhat glow? <laughs> let's keep this moving. We're almost there. Just a little bit of mascara for these lashes because we need a sturdy foundation for when you're about to put the falsies on there. I heard someone say, like, it's like having a bookshelf, like, and then you put, the, like, this is the shelf, and then you put the book, like, the lash is the, the lash is the book, and the, the la your original eyelashes are the shelf. So you gotta like make sure it's strong and sturdy to hold up them things. Them things be heavy sometimes, but I do not care because I need to look fierce. The little bit of under lashes that you got. I get like cheap mascara because I like to coat it. I use the Great Lash by Maybelline. Uh, what is this? The black is black. That's the one I use. I have lashes that I've used over and over again. They have eyeshadow on them. They have a little bit of glue on them. <laughs> Don't judge. Yours do too. Unless you're getting free lashes all the time. And I doubt it. I just haven't made it to the store to get some new pair. To get like a new pair of lashes. But these are like the bomb. Like they're so like oof. There's a lot of. Like, I wore a lot of eyeshadow yesterday, so there's a lot of eyeshadow. But they're, like, so wispy. I love them so much. They're so wispy. I get compliments every time I use these lashes. I think I've used them about 10 times, and then I'll, <laughs> and I'll go get the same ones over and over. I'm going to use my Duo Quick Set Lash Strip Adhesive. This is the bomb if you do not like to wait to um, for your lashes to get tacky. I still have a habit of like waiting for my lashes to get tacky and it's like by the time I wait, girl, there ain't no glue on there. Maybe I'm weird, but I feel like my lashes stay better when they're a little bit older. Like when they're older and it has like a little bit of residue and glue on there, like a little bit of eyeshadow and a little bit of like glue that did like that won't come off. Like cause I'll peel off the old glue but I just feel like it just sticks on there better. Maybe that's nasty, maybe it's not. Maybe you cannot judge me because you're not perfect either. How about that? Paint that on there. It's such an easy applicator, like you just dip and you just paint it on 
and then it dries super fast. And you could be fleeky within a couple of minutes. You know what I'm saying? You want to hold the lash in the middle, right? Hold the lash in the middle, and then you just want to place it right in the middle. See how that works? <laughs> I think it's make sure it's nice and close. You see how that works? Now I gotta hurry up and put the other one on before the glue dries. Ooh. But now what I like to do is wait till they like a, get a little bit more dry and then I'll kind of smush it down a little bit. I'm gonna line my lips. I like to overline my lips because I like I like my lips to look a little bit bigger than what they are. And maybe some people think that I have great and full lips, but maybe I just want just a little bit extraness to my lips. And I wish my Cupid's bow was like this, like how people have that like very defined, like, uh, I think th that gives me life and I don't have it. So, <laughs> I like to make mine a little bit more defined than what it is. Everybody wants what they don't have. It's sad. Now I'm going to put a little bit of chapstick on. Keeping it simple today because I'm going to do a lot of eating. So, yeah. So, this is, like, basically my look for the day. I'm going to give y'all a little slow-mo action in a second. I like, dry it a little bit more. I like to go in and just press it down. Just press it down a little bit. See how that looks? Then the lips just look a little bit more full then. Okay? I just need to do something with this hair, which I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to fluff it out. Because, <laughs> guys, my phone did the nonsense, so I don't know where I left off at. But, anyways, this is the final look. And I'm just going to put on a little bit of setting spray, and I'm going to get the hell out of here. Okay? So I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching. If you didn't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a positive comment down below. Tell me if you want to see another video, another makeup video, another vlog video, another mukbang video. Whatever you guys want to see, just let me know. And I will definitely get that done for you guys. I want everyone to have a happy Thanksgiving. Appreciate all the day-to-day -day things that are happening for you. Stop being so goddamn ungrateful and be thankful for every day. You shouldn't just feel thankful on Thanksgiving. That's my point. So I'll get back to you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!